사실은 My skin has gotten worse for the past week. It's now hit the point of being super, super dry. So I've been really trying to be focused on my skincare. I'm actually going to Denmark this Saturday, which I'm super excited for. And as you can see by the title, that's also the topic of today because we're gonna go and pack for this trip that I have. It's one week long, so normally I would do one outfit for each day at least like that's the bare minimum and normally i would do two to three outfits for each day but for this trip i cannot pack too heavily so i need to like have only one suitcase which will not fit that many clothes but my biggest concern is that in denmark it is slightly colder than it is here in the netherlands so i'm scared that my skin will get even more dry when i'm out there so i'm bringing some skincare with me to make sure that my skin stays hydrated Although, the place that we're going to has like a swimming pool, but also has a sauna. So maybe I can make use of the sauna every day and make sure my skin is getting this heat boost that it's missing. So let's start packing some essentials. This is my new makeup pouch that I got from Yestal. As you guys know, I have this very big makeup pouch, but I'm not going to bring all of this on the trip. So we're just going to select a few items. First item is my concealer. I'll also bring a primer. I feel like this definitely works. I've been not using primer for forever, but we need it now. My contour stick and my blush stick. This cream blush as well. Japanese mascara. Glowgasm. This concealer palette from the Seek. This one is almost empty. These are both almost empty, so I'm gonna bring both of them. Brow gel. And I also have this one which has all my brushes in here and also my curling lash curler. <laughs> and then it's full. So that's the makeup bag. I don't think that I actually mentioned it in my other vlogs yet, but I did like put it in writing that we're gonna be the families now. So yeah, I guess this is the first time that I'm actually saying it. I'm not sure how we use that name. Like, how do I use that name casually in a video? I don't know. I was grabbing my travel bags and then I found these, which I didn't know that they were laying in the same drawer. But I've been doing heatless curls and you can use this roller to put the front piece in. So now I have it. Perfect, because I wanted to do the hairstyle tonight. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna pack my skincare. I always use this same travel bag for it. So it opens up like this. And then on the top, you have this little hanger. So you can hang it in your bathroom. And then on top, you have a little pouch part, how you call it, this little part. And then here you also have a few parts where you can put stuff in, which I don't. I normally use the top one for like hair stuff and uh, jewelry. And then in the bigger compartment, I put all my skincare and then in this compartment I put um, sanitary stuff but also ear, you know, ear cotton things and things like that. <laughs> so what's going in the skincare bag this time? I'm gonna bring the new toner that I just bought. I'm gonna bring the moisturizer that I'm trying out right now. Of course sunscreen, never forget your sunscreen. I'm also using these toner pads right now, which I really like. Makeup remover to remove the makeup at the end of the day. Which means we're also gonna have to bring uh, cotton pads. So that's basically all the skincare that I'm gonna bring. But I still have some room left in this bag. Normally I will also put my toothpaste and my toothbrush in here. But I still have two days that I'm just here. So I still need to use those. I will pack those later. So another one of my travel pouches that I like to use is this one. Um, it's from the Mini So I think, and it's just one big compartment. And I like to put my shampoos and like bigger liquid things in here. But I'm not gonna pack those yet because I still have a few days to go. So I'm just gonna put this one here so I know that I still have to fill it with stuff. And I guess that we can go on to our clothes now because I have no idea what I want to bring. To Denmark it's gonna be a little bit colder there and you guys know I don't dress well in cold weather but I do want to be like looking cute because it's still like a little trip so let's see what we can bring 
This is my lovely suitcase that I bring on all my trips. So we're gonna fill this one up. And I also have this travel bag from Muji that I will use as well because we also need to bring ourselves some towels and some sheets, like cover sheets for the bed. I bought these because there's a playroom where we can use these. So these will go in this bag. I always bring my neck pillow. This is a neck pillow, super cute. You can put your arms in here and then it comes out on the other side, which is nice if you also want to sleep on your head, which I do a lot. But I always bring this, but this one will go in the car so it doesn't have to be in my suitcase. So we're gonna put that here for now. So I'm kind of unsure about what I have to bring for this trip. Like, I don't know how I want to dress. I don't really have a vision for this trip. I'm for sure gonna bring my jeans because I think it will be a little bit chilly and my jeans will always be top tier part of my outfit if I'm trying to be comfortable and also if you're gonna do like some activities and stuff it's always nice to just have jeans. I also have this pink sweater or pullover from my new Yesta haul that I want to bring. That one is super cute and cozy. I also have this blue hoodie from my Yesta haul, which is not the warmest thing, but in the house itself, I don't think it's gonna be that cold. So I think I could wear this like in the evening when we're just chilling in the house. I brought my bag with bikinis with me um, from moving, but I'm not gonna bring this all, of course. I think this is a normal bikini, I'm not sure. And it has like a cute, top that goes with it one of my safe choices is my bathing suit which is just this black one and i'll also bring my white one which is comfortable for swimming indoors which is with like a bandeau top situation i'm also gonna bring two lounge pants for when i'm sleeping a gray one and a neutral colored one which also goes with two t-shirts to sleep in this is my super trusty uniqlo fleece vest and this is when i can't predict if it's gonna be super cold or not but this will keep me warm even though my outfit underneath might be a little bit more chilly this will keep me warm so this one is gonna come with me for sure and i also just have zero inspiration of what i want to bring like there's no need for me to look cute but there's also nothing that i really want to wear right now what i do have to bring is my analog camera because i like to just shoot a few analog pictures when i'm on vacation so we have to get that down here i packed them away in this box when i was moving so we're gonna have to bring that out but this is the one that i like to take on vacation so this is not my professional one this is just a cheaper one and i will use it with the fuji film 200 packing can be so exhausting sometimes it's already 9 p.m and i low-key just want to go to bed but tonight is the only night that i have time to pack my stuff which would be easy if i knew what i wanted to wear because then i knew what i wanted to bring i also need to bring a pair of crocs a lot of stuff i can pack tomorrow because today i'm still using most of it <laughs> just not the clothes just not the clothes so what else we can already start packing some other stuff that i also need to bring like some general stuff let's just get on to that first we gotta bring towels because we're gonna be swimming and showering and i bring two extra small ones as well so then i have four which should be enough so this bag is fully filled now on the bottom there's a lot of towels and then here you have some very old one um twin bed is it a twin bed double bed, twin bed these are sheets for twin beds which are very old because this is when we used to sleep with when we were very very young <laughs> but we're gonna bring them out of the closet again for this trip and then here I have my little floaty with me because there's a swimming pool and you bet your ass I'm gonna be on this floaty. So I'm bringing it. And then basically the bag is full. And now we're still left with what am I gonna wear on this trip? I don't know. Here we have our toiletries. So three bags, camera, 
I'm also planning on bringing my iPad and my MacBook probably, which means I also bring my headphones just in case I need to like be working in peace, quietness. I'm bringing these Crocs, my Drew Crocs. I also have my mini backpack, which I'm super excited to bring. I always love to bring my mini backpack and sometimes I do actually use it. So and maybe if you see my other vlogs, you will recognize these bags as well, which are from Beyond the Finds. And I have them in two sizes. And these can basically be folded all the way up to like practically nothing. So it's super easy to bring, but once you open it, it fits so much stuff. So when I go on a trip like this, where it's not like a city trip and you're not like dressed up all the time, I like to bring these type of bags because then I can just stuff a lot of stuff in here and go about my day. Because with my little purses, there's not that much that fits into it. So with this one, I'm sure I can also bring like a snack and a drink and whatnot. So we're bringing both of them. I will prep the small one already because I feel like I'm gonna bring this one in the car. So I'm gonna put my camera in here. And also one of the rolls, my Gucci lip gloss, just the clear one, which I'm also bringing some band-aids because you never know. Not sure if my hay fever is gonna act up when I'm in Denmark, so I'm also gonna bring my glasses. One of my go-to comfort outfits is my black legging with my yoga mom vest from, um, where is this from? Oisho. And I always pair it with just a black tee. I'm gonna bring my black top from Yastal, which I love, because plain white tee from Uniqlo, a tank top from Brandy Melville, my comfortable pink flared leggings from my mom made it. This one that I wore yesterday, I think this top is super comfy, so I definitely want to bring that one as well. I'm not sure what the weather is going to be like, but I'm bringing this skirt and this brown comfortable little vest. So my suitcase is full of clothes. There is nothing else that fits in here. Let's see if I can close it. gonna bring my cost bag which is super big it's definitely going in here is my makeup bag my headphones my phone charger my macbook charger my ipad and headphones charger just usb c basically my laptop my ipad this little bag has to go with me I feel like I'm done with packing because there's like still some stuff that I need to pack tomorrow morning like my toothbrush, my toothpaste, other than that I think I have everything. As long as I have my most important things which is my money, my phone and my passport then I think I'm fine. I think I'm packed and ready to go to Denmark so thank you for staying with me while I was packing and I will see you in Denmark. Bye!